Unfortunately, the smell was so bad that I ended up throwing up inside the trash can about three times. <laughs> The weirdest thing I've seen in the trash is uh, another company came to our yard and dropped off a bunch of pallets. And we discovered that there was a litter of kitty cats inside of one of those pallets. So what we did is just take them to the local shelter and hopefully they get adopted. Most of the trash goes to our two local facilities, which get separated from canning glass. The rest of the garbage goes to the local landfill. We recycle about 80% of the garbage. But the best thing for us is to train our customers and educate them on what should be recycled. What do I wish people stop putting in the trash? Liquids. Liquids is uh, one of the things that makes our garbage very heavy. Right now, we're gonna head into our summertime, which will be a lot of barbecue coals, which could become a hazardous fire to us. So if you have any questions, it's always good to go to the local website and check what materials you should be putting in the dumpster. Does it bother me if someone calls me a trash man instead of an engineer? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, the general public does not know what a sanitation engineer is at the moment, so the garbage guy is not a bad thing. Most people just think that we just go there and pick up the garbage and that's it. You'll be really surprised that most of the people that work for us are very friendly, very polite, and they're out there to do a service for us. And they're making sure that not only is the streets and the garbage and the areas clean for everybody that lives there, but for ourselves too. And make sure that we take care of the environment. You can tell a lot about a person, obviously their age, what products they use on a daily basis. If they're procrastinators, we'll see people running out behind us with their bins because they forgot to take them the night, the, the night before. I won't mention what kind of food it was, but I went to a local restaurant that we were servicing. Unfortunately, the smell was so bad that I ended up throwing up inside the trash can about three times. And at the end of the day, I still had to complete the job. It doesn't happen often, but it was summertime, so obviously things are gonna rot a little quicker. One of the best days of the job for me, uh, one day we uh, had a customer that called us that he lost a leather money bag. Unfortunately, we found it. It contained about $20,000. Happy day for him. We found it and we gave it back to him. What should people think twice about throwing away? Things that could be donated, like sofas, clothes, toys. There's a lot of people that out there that could use them. So it'd be nice if it could be donated to the local shelter or a thrift store. It will benefit them more. Always think about what you're going to throw away before you do. There's a lot of information on our website. It's always good to go and check it and verify before you throw something away because it could cause a real hazard to someone else.